This video explains how to draw development of lateral surface of a truncated hexagonal prism. Condition of the solid. Hexagonal prism is resting on the ground with its base. Axis of the prism is perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. At the same time, the base edges are parallel to VP. Cutting plane is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. Draw an XY line. Draw a circle below the XY line. The radius of the circle must be equal to the side of the hexagon. For drawing the hexagon with the sides parallel to the XY line, draw a horizontal center line for the circle. With the same radius of the circle, cut arcs on the circle from both end points of the axis. Join these intersection points to complete the hexagon. Name the corners of the hexagon as 1, 2, 3, up to 6. To draw the elevation, Draw projectors from the corners of hexagon, maintain the height of the prism above the XY line, darken the visible edges, name the corners in the elevation as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, etc. up to 6 dash. Thereby the projection part is over. For sectioning, the cutting plane or sectional plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. When cutting plane is perpendicular to VP, Sectioning of the solid must be done in the elevation. Locate the cutting plane on the axis. Draw a horizontal reference line through the point. Then draw the cutting plane through this point at the given angle. Cutting plane passing through the top base. Project the point towards the plan. Those points can be named as P and Q in the plan and P dash and Q dash in the elevation. For drawing the development, the base should be projected perpendicular to the axis. Length of the projection must be equal to the perimeter of the base of the prism. Since it is an hexagon, six equal parts must be made. Now project the points where the cutting plane cuts the prism. Identify the points on the development. For points P and Q, those distances can be measured from the base edge of the plan. Join all these points with straight lines. Darken the longer edges also.